The very 14th Friday, the memorial of St. Cyril, monk, and St. Methodius, bishop. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment, and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into a man's ear and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to the heaven and groaned and said to him, Epata, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ears were open. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord Epata, be open. The references to Jesus' presence in the Decapolis or its regions are intended to emphasize that Jesus has crossed into Gentile territory. Jesus has just gone to the district of Tyre and cured the daughter of a Syrophoenician woman. Now, while still in Gentile territory, Jesus works yet another miracle. He gives hearing to a deaf man and curses the man's speech impediment. Jesus does this by taking the man aside and going through a ritual. He puts his fingers into the man's ears, touches his tongue, looks up to heaven in prayer, groans in compassion, and utters the healing command in Aramaic. The gestures are sacramental, symbolic of the cure that takes place. The story of the deaf-mute looks ahead to that of the blind man. But the deaf-mute and the blind man are brought to Jesus by others. The evangelist uses the parallels to show that Jesus fulfills the prophecies of Isaiah. He is the promised servant of God who heals the deaf, the mute, and the blind.